Okay guys, before we do get into the video, make sure you do subscribe if you are not already. Only a small percentage of you that are watching my video are actually subscribed, and it would help me reach the end year goal of 5,000 subscribers. Little disclaimer before we do get into the guide as well. Anyway, you have your build or anyway you do your build is fine. I'm just making this guide for people who are new to Grand Sudorisco or people who are getting back into Grand Sudorisco and want to know the basics. With the disclaimer out of the way, let's get into the Grand Sudoruska guide. Before we do get into it though, the requirements for Grand Sudoruska is 75 Frost, level 10, and 30 Heavy. Its passive is after landing 3 M1s on an enemy, it makes ice crystals rain from the sky. The aerial that the crystal lands on will basically apply ice effect on the ground and its cooldown is 15 seconds. It's M2 basically is a uppercut. It spins your axe around and it makes ice crystals fall onto the ground. And anyone within the vicinity or anyone who gets hit basically gets put into an uppercut combo. Certain talents that are good on this, I would say I would recommend that you go crystal because of the crystals that can burst within the opponents when uh, fully stacked or hit with an ice ability. Make sure you do also get all of the Great Axe talents. Maybe go Battle Axe when you're going into the Trout 1. Instead of Avenger, because you're gonna need all of the damage you can get. By the way, do not go Contractor if you are trying to go Grand Suit Ruska because you will not be able to equip it. And potential builds you could go on the Grand Suit Ruska. The only build that I've really seen after returning to Deep Orchid after a basically a year is this build called Volcanic Ice Build. I don't know if it's still popular but it's basically a flame and ice build and there are these, uh, I don't know, ice orbs or ice crystals, I don't know, anything you call it, that home onto the target and do loads of damage. That is perfect for PvE and sometimes PvP. The weapons M2 is what you want to utilize when attacking somebody because it basically is a free block break if it's blocked or it is a free way to get your crystals to basically explode onto somebody. But at the end of the day, it comes down to what's comfortable for your playstyle, what you want your build to be or how you use it. So make sure, like I say in all of the other guides, to play around with the build and see what you like. If you like hybrid, if you like glass path crystallization, or if you just like the regular frost freeze that would apply slow to anybody. But yeah, if you didn't find this guide helpful, make sure to like the video so other people who may need it can see it. Comment down below if you have a Grand Sudorisco or if you are planning on making a build. And subscribe so that you can help me reach my end year goal of 5,000 subscribers. And most importantly, make sure to have a great day guys and see you guys within the next video. Like